Paul Blake, professional Sasquatch hunter. I really like to go by the name of Slinger. I'm 45 years of age, and for those many years I've dedicated my life to finding the most legendary creature of all time, Bigfoot. My therapist tells me there's no such thing, and I really need to, in his words, pay a visit to the mental institution. But I know I'm not crazy. You know, Doc, I'm not so much afraid of heights as I am of, of widths. And um, when I go outside, I, I, I kind of feel like my, my shadow. I just can't shake it. Um, and I'm afraid of getting beat up, especially when I wear my gold shorts. Hmm. You know, this is probably working. I feel a lot better already. My first experience with Bigfoot was when I was a little boy. Hey kid, that's a nice pop you got there. You think maybe I get a taste of that pop? Alright, alright, alright. I get it, I get it. You don't want to give it up. I understand, I understand. Hey man, that's a big pop you got. You can probably bake me a piece of that all? No, you can. That's it, punk. Give me that pop, stupid. Is that a me, kid? Is that a me? Really? With your stupid little red hat. Is that a me? Is that a me? What's up? What's up? I'm taking your pop. I'm taking your pop right now. I'm gone. I'm out with your pop. Bigfoot out. But that wasn't my only experience with Bigfoot. Your mom was so fat. She broke her leg, gravy came out. When she sits around the house, she sits around the house. Oh! What? You're lucky that didn't hit me, punk. I am determined to find this bully of a being. To finally capture him. So I pack my things and I'm headed out to a secluded cabin in northern New Jersey where I will continue my findings with a group of seasoned Sasquatch hunters all as confident in their experiences and abilities to finally get back to our security against Bigfoot. With my crew of three, I am certain we will capture him. These are the members of a new revolution. Hey you, fishing ain't gonna be dope cause it's a full moon tonight. Woo! I've had some experience with Bigfoot too, you know. It was Sunday morning and I'd just been going out to get the mail. Nice day. Good to be alive. Oh boy. Look at this. Oh. 
I've got a story. What? Go ahead. I was out grilling, and he was jumping on my trampoline. Who? Big trampoline. Ah! Boing. Mama, watch out! Should I get a gun? Do you think he can hear us? Don't move. Wow, so what's our tan plan? Well, I figured we'd go down to a 7-Eleven and get some Cheetos. We need some Mountain Dew. If we meet him, what are we going to call him? Yeti? Bigfoot? Sasquatch? We'll just call him dead. Are you ready, Sniper? Are you ready, Red Dog? Are you ready, uh... Ah. When I chose these three, I knew like myself they were rugged backwoods men. Sniper wrestled with pigs and once punched at a horse. Red Dog was raised by wolves. And for the other guy, well, I don't really know about the other guy. As for me, I've been roughing it in the wild since. Is that a bug? Oh my god! Is it on me? Is it on me? Oh, get it on me! Get it on me! Oh, there he is! Come on up. Come on up. I'm pretty sure he is. Let's go for that. Ah. Let's go! Okay, here's the plan. Andy Graham. Hey, Bigfoot. How's this taste? Action. No, die. <laughs> Action. Uh, action. Wow. Action. Oh. Action. Dad. This is where I talk. <laughs> Action. Don't stare at the camera. Action. He's laughing. <laughs> I can't look. Don't look at my eyes. I can't take it. No, I just Stalling. Don't look down at your chest. Action. Still rolling. I'm still rolling? Action. <laughs> your mama's so fat that she breaks her leg. <laughs> Action. Your mama's so fat that she broke her leg, baby fall out. Mama's so fat when she's around the house, she sits around the house. 
Action. Is that a me, kid? Hmm? What you gonna do now? Huh? Huh? What you gonna do now? Hmm? Hmm? What you gonna do now? That's right. Nothing.